It's a flyweight rematch at Fight Island. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC on ESPN Plus 30 between Davis and Figueiredo and Joseph Benavidez. Figueiredo, who unfortunately missed weight and made himself ineligible to earn the title in their first meeting, was able to still show up on fight night and get the job done through composure, hard counters, and after a clash of heads, he was able to capitalize on the moment and pounce with a heavy right hand. However, with the clash of heads being controversial and clearly causing damage to Benavidez before the final blow was delivered, both the fighters and the organization have agreed to give it another go so that we have some finality to the flyweight championship. At the time of this video, the odds makers in public are siding with the Brazilian this time around, listing Figueiredo in the neighborhood of minus 210 and Benavidez as your underdog with a comeback of roughly plus 175. Now, I picked Benavidez who was favored the first time and I believe for good reason. Not only did Joseph Benavidez have more paths to win on paper, but I believe that his bodywork and his pace were going to pay serious dividends down the stretch if he could survive the shots early. Now, despite ultimately getting finished, and that's what it's going to read in the history books, Joseph Benavidez actually took some of Figueredo's hardest counters and didn't seem discouraged and was able to push forward after round one. However, after said controversial headbutt, the next right hand, which was flush, was able to put Benavidez out. Now, controversy aside, I wouldn't be surprised, and neither should you, if Figueredo knocks out Benavidez again. However, I'm going to bank that Benavidez can keep scrambling, even if he's still not successful on his initial takedowns, keep striking, pushing a pace, and landing that key bodywork on a Figueredo who I imagine had to go through a lengthy, extra strenuous travel process as he's made sure to come in even lighter. My theory is when fighters cut a lot of weight or perhaps are competing in a division they shouldn't be, you should watch out for those body shots. That's what I'm going to bank on, but I'm not telling you to run to the bank with my pick. My pick, however, is Benavidez by decision, though I wouldn't be surprised to see either finish the other before the final bell rings. For that result, you're going to have to keep it locked to MMAJunkie.com for this weekend at Fight Island. Hey, sports fans. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and stick around for more from USA Today Sports.